Hey guys, welcome to the Bourbonarian YouTube channel. I'm your host, Austin. Let's get started. So today's going to be a fun one. I noticed that my samples have uh, kind of getting out of hand. So I decided it'd be fun to put them all in a bag, kind of uh, uh, randomize it, pull one out at random, and give it a review. Uh, it, it'll be fun. So some of these come from good friends. Some of these come from uh, sample shares we've been doing with the uh, Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. More about that later. Uh, so there's kind of a mix. I'm not going to shout anybody out because I didn't ask anybody ahead of time. I don't want to put their name out there if they don't want it. But uh, if it's from a friend, you know I appreciate it. So thank you. All right. So let's get started, shall we? Oh, I'm sure that's a nice ASMR, a whatever it's called. Ooh, all right. So this is kind of related to what I had on the podcast recently. This is Stranahan's Sherry Cask. It's 94 proof. And this is this was part of... One of the tastings we did with the Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. I'm going to give it a pour, let it sit, and I'll talk about the Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge, which is our sponsor. Let's go here. Look at that. I love Sherry Cast stuff. All right. So, the uh, Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love them. They are a great community of whiskey lovers that will take you at any level of your whiskey journey that you are. It doesn't even, You don't even have to be in Baton Rouge. You don't have to be nearby. Uh, there's a lot of in-person events now, so it, it kind of helps, but you definitely don't have to be. Uh, we have people who are just beginning in their whiskey journey and people who are experts, and they'll take you along the way. Other cool things, we do a lot of charity events. Uh, we do at least one big one a quarter. We are putting on the Louisiana Bourbon Festival very, very soon here. Uh, and that's all that is going to uh, Alzheimer's charity and all, local Alzheimer's charity helping local people. So I love this group for that reason. It's great community, great friends. Plus, we have some awesome barrel picks. We just picked up, as of recording this yesterday, picked up our uh, rye pick from Sugarfield Spirits, which is uh, right down the road from me, local distillery. It is an MGP uh, barrel. It is fantastic. Five years old. It is awesome. So uh, join now for, for a chance at uh, something like that. It's uh, To join, just go to www.bourbonbr.com slash join. That's bourbonbr.com slash join. Again, thanks to the Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge for all this. And that brings me to my sample here because it's from one of our sample shares that we do virtually as a group. Uh, this again, Sherry Cast Stranahan. So Stranahan's is a single malt American whiskey. It's 100% malted barley. And they usually finish in New Oak barrels. And I believe this one is, I don't know if there was aged completely in Sherry Cask or is finished in Sherry. But uh, you kind of have that going here. And if you've listened to my podcast episode, I'm not huge on American single malt. But let's give it a try. Ooh, the Sherry comes out on the nose. But I definitely get the malty note but it's it's what i associate with american malt it's definitely not it's not like a scot a scotch kind of malty note that i get in like a monkey shoulder I, I i attribute it to a the climate and b the new charred oak barrel i think that's what it is you know kind of more woody nose but that sherry stands out and that really kind of tamps it down for me all right let's give it a taste Mm. The sherry and that wood note really play well. It's like a jam, like a maybe like a grape jelly, almost like a strawberry jam, really. Ooh, proof hits. 94 proof. It's also the first thing I'm drinking today. Whoa. But man, that's good. It's a lot better than their regular release, in my opinion. The sherry really kind of tamps down those off flavors that I get from a lot of American single malt. Mm. Hmm. It's not super, super complex. You get the sherry, you get the malt. That kind of is a little bit grainy, a little bit oaky from, I guess, the new charred oak. And you get you get a, a short finish, but it's pleasant. It's very sweet and very jammy. I like this a lot better than just their regular release. Even even store picks with their regular release. So that's kind of where I'm at that. Out of five, eh, I'll give it a three. I enjoy this. I'd buy a bottle of this. I don't know the price. If it was, you know, around the same price as their regular release, then heck yeah, I'd buy a bottle of this for sure. Hmm. 
pretty good. All right, guys. Well, let me know if you like this kind of format. We'll do it, do it again. Um, I just started a TikTok, so go follow uh, Bourbon Earring on TikTok. And you can check out some more behind the scenes things and things I'm trying and some experiments I'm doing. All my big experiments I'm going to document here on YouTube, of course. But it's kind of the behind the scenes as it's happening. Go check out my TikTok. Of course, I'm on Instagram at Bourboneering. Check that out as well. And I have a podcast. And it's a Bourboneering podcast. And that's you can find that wherever you get your podcasts. If you like, like this, subscribe. Like this video. All that good stuff. Hit the notification bell. All that. So thanks for watching, y'all. Cheers.